Hello, I'm Chris Boswell, mayor of the city of Harlingen. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to visit with me about where we are in the COVID-19 fight here in our city, what our city's doing, and uh, to hear about some things uh, that are upcoming. But first, uh, Anita and I want to say that we hope that each and every one of you had a blessed Easter uh, weekend. I know that it was a different time, different for us too. We went to church online and uh, listened to our priest give his sermon and uh, from the comfort of our home, but it was, still wasn't the same. And I know that many of you feel the same way. Hopefully, we'll be able to get back to something like normal as soon as we can. Uh, today, April 15, 2020, we have 239 Cameron County residents who have tested uh, positive for COVID-19. 98 of those are Harlingen residents. About 75 of those who have tested positive have recovered and are no longer positive. But a large portion of the numbers in our county are made up of uh, the infections in two nursing homes here in Harlingen. 50 residents and 25 staff in one of them and 20 residents and staff of 18 in another one for a total of 113 of the total in our county, which makes up about 45% of the total numbers of COVID-19 patients in, our, in the county or people who have tested positive. Thankfully, as of today, we only have 16 COVID-19 positive cases uh, in our two uh, Harlingen hospitals and about 20 are under investigation. Uh, let's hope that those numbers will stay the same. And one of the things that's good news is when I reported to you last week, uh, we only had 14 people in Harlingen hospitals that were COVID-19 positive, and we've just added two, even though the total numbers of positive tests are up. So that would seem to be some good news. Let's talk about these face coverings and the masks that... Uh, are difficult to wear, but are good to protect our neighbors, people that are around us from us in case we're carrying the virus and we don't know it. So that's why it's important to wear it. Last week, I told you that Harlingen's directive was voluntary, that it was not an order. But since then, the county judge, County Judge Eddie Trevino, has made it an order for the county. And so it is mandatory that you wear them. He's made some clarifications, though, and I think it's important to share with you that you don't have to wear a mask if you're walking, jogging, running, or riding a bicycle, as long as you're six feet away from the ne person next to you. So maintain social distancing, but if you're out running by yourself, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're in a vehicle with another person, with one other person, you should both be wearing masks. If you're in the vehicle by yourself, you don't have to wear the mask. Only two people in a vehicle at a time unless you, you don't have any other way uh, to care for your small children at home and you have to bring them with you. You have no other caregiver or the parent has to bring more than one child with them. That's okay too and you just have to talk to an officer if he stops you and let him know uh, that that's the situation. Also, let's talk about maybe reopening business here in Texas. Governor Abbott on Friday is scheduled to hold a press conference about this very subject, and we hope that he's going to give uh, some guidance on what he believes would be a timetable and a method for reopening businesses around the state and here in Harlingen. Now, I suspect that that's going to be a phased-in reopening, that it probably won't happen all at once. But uh, there may be a start date and maybe some details that will be available to us on Friday. So we'll be looking with interest for that. We have been communicating with the governor. We've also been communicating with the county judge about our own plans here in Cameron County and in Harlingen and what that might look like in conjunction and coordination with the governor's plan to reopen for business. So let's hope that that is something that we can do and do pretty soon, while at the same time practicing social distancing uh, methods and continuing to control the spread. Finally, we just want to thank you for what you're doing is staying home and sheltering in place and 
washing your hands and wearing masks and doing all the things that we need to do to stay away from large groups uh, so that we can stop the spread of the virus in Harlingen and in our county and in our region because the more we can slow it, the sooner we can get back to business and start doing some things together. So thank you for that. Thank you to our first responders, our hospital workers, our teachers and our students working from home, for our grocery store workers and everyone who's out on the front line making us safe and healthy. So good luck, stay healthy, and God bless you.